Today, I'm giving you a tour of where I've been living for the past year in Querétaro, Mexico. This is in the suburb of Juriquilla, inside of a gated community. You are not going to believe how much home I'm getting and all the amenities I'm getting for what I'm paying. So without wasting any time, let's go inside. To get to the front entrance, you come up these gradually sloped, curved stairs. I love the looks of this coming to the front door here. And then you come out to this beautiful, spacious patio. And this patio overlooks Plaza Nautica right here, which has like five restaurants conveniently located just steps away from this home. And it also has these sweeping views to the lake out here. Something else I love about this patio are these huge mature trees next to here providing tons of shade. And as a matter of fact, there's a family of raccoons that live in this tree right here. So many nights I see them climbing down the tree and then they climb onto my roof and climb down my window. It's pretty cool to see that. And Alaska likes to see that as well. <laughs> She's barking at them sometimes. I love coming out here and sipping on a tea in the morning while I look across the lake here or getting a cocktail in the evening or coming out here to read a book or simply just to enjoy nature and listen to all the birds chirping. In Mexico, in order for it to be considered a fancy home, it has to have a big old door. So that's what you have here, a gigantic door with an automatic coated lock. As you walk through the front door, you're met with this huge living space with this gorgeous vaulted wooden ceilings. I love it. But one of the best things you notice immediately are the sweeping views out to the golf course here. The views from this house are amazing on every side, whether you're on the patio, in the living room, eating at the dining table, even in the kitchen, or doing your business in the bathroom. You have amazing views from everywhere. I really enjoy sitting here. Um, I spend a lot of my day in this chair with like a tea or something sitting on this table next to it. And almost all of the furniture in here is made out of the wood called parota. So this is parota, this is parota. This table is, the legs of this are. And this is where my live-in maid hangs out most of the day. She is the best investment I've made for this house. I had to pay her a signing bonus, but since then, she has been working for free every single day. And with all the fur that this little one sheds, there is a lot of cleaning to be done in here. I think this beautiful dining table really fills up the space nicely in here. These chairs are super comfortable. I love how the table matches the bench. Again, this is parota. It also has these uh, teal inserts where the wood was cracked. So when they were manufacturing the table, they used that to fill the cracks. And I think it looks really pretty. I love that it has a matching bench along with it. And then over here, I have a big living room area with a huge and very comfortable sofa. There's a TV over there. That's the only TV I have in this place because to be perfectly honest, I don't watch a lot of TV. Although there is a basement to this house, I spend the vast majority of my time upstairs. I, I love sitting at that table over there, at that chair, or on the sofa here. It's all super comfortable and it's just a really great place to relax and look out the window here at the gorgeous views and watch the golfers go by and things like that. And next to the living room area, you have the bar tops with four bar stools here and we'll head on into the kitchen. The kitchen is actually one of my least favorite parts of this place because the countertops are weirdly high and it's kind of small, but it's still nice. Looking out this way while you're doing dishes, you can look out there and see the lake or you turn around and you're looking this way and you have great views to the golf course. So no matter where you are in the kitchen, you have great views. And then in here, there's a nice spacious pantry that's somehow always full, uh, despite it being quite large. And then in here, we have a big old fridge. I have a toaster oven, an air fryer, stove and oven, electric tea kettle, blender, and this is one of my nodes for the wireless mesh network that I have here. Because when I originally got Wi-Fi here, it didn't cover the whole house. So I 
how to add this mesh network to get coverage everywhere. And this thing has been amazing. I cannot believe the coverage and the speeds that I get with it. In this home, I have blazing fast internet. I pay for the fastest internet I can get, and that is 500 megabits per second. Coming out of the kitchen here, and we walk around the kitchen, around the bar top area, into the main guest bathroom. This is a very well lit bathroom. Again, you have the beautiful wooden ceilings. So really nice guest bathroom area here. And then walking out here, we're going into the master bedroom. The master bedroom is super spacious, again, with great views out to the golf course here and these beautiful wooden ceilings. I have a large and really comfortable king bed and I love waking up every morning and hearing the birds chirping outside. Every morning at about 7 a.m. I'm woken up to the birds chirping. And this patio is a really nice place to come hang out and read a book, watch the golfers go by. You hear the birds chirping, the breeze is blowing. I did another home tour here in Hurikia and I got a ton of comments saying like, are you serious? You have that huge house and there's no pool? Well, I'll tell you something about Queretaro is nobody wants a pool because it doesn't get warm enough here to use it. Or like maybe you would use it for two months of the year, but even still in the two warmest months of the year, it's getting down to like the low 50s or something at night. So even in the hottest months of the year, the weather isn't warm enough to keep the pool warm. In the master bedroom, there's this gigantic space over here that I've never figured out what to do with. But we walk down this hallway here and you have the biggest closet I've ever had in a home. This thing is massive. So no matter how many clothes you have, there's going to be plenty of space for you here. And then you have the biggest mirror I've ever had in a house right here as well next to the closet. And right across the hallway from the closet is the toilet area. So you can close this door and you can open this window. And while you're doing your business, you can look out here to the lake and hear the birds chirping, which is actually really nice. <laughs> and then coming out of the bathroom here, you have a really nice gigantic mirror with dual sinks here. And then the biggest shower I've ever had in a place. This shower is massive. Look how big this thing is. It's ridiculously large. You can open this window and you have views out here to all these flowers and trees. But yeah, so you're taking a shower and you have this view out here and you can like have that nature experience while showering. So upstairs, you just have the one master bedroom and then downstairs, there are two more bedrooms, each with a complete bath. And then outside in the garage area, there's a fourth bedroom, which is more or less the maid's quarters, but I've actually converted that in a driving range to practice my golf, so I'll show you that. But anyway, let's head downstairs. Coming into the first bedroom here, I have this one set up as an office. So I have a rug in here with this chair to sit on and read a book or whatever else I want to do, work on my laptop. But I love the curved windows in here. I think that's a really nice feature. There's a ceiling fan like there is in every room in this house. And then you have some closet space here. And coming in here, you have a complete bathroom. I, I don't really use this bathroom, but it does have a shower, a toilet, and a sink. And we walk right around the corner to the other bedroom downstairs. Again, it has a complete bathroom to go along with it. I have a second Wi-Fi set up downstairs because the walls are so thick in here. The walls are made out of 18 inch thick concrete. So the wireless signal doesn't travel well between the walls. So I have one internet for upstairs and one for downstairs. But here I have a, Another coffee table made out of parota, a sofa that turns into a bed, as well as a rug in here. And once again, you have this really pretty curved window here. I always love arches in a home. That's always a feature that I really enjoy. But walking through here, you have some closets. And then 
I like this bathroom better than the other bathroom, but a sink, a shower, and then a toilet here as well. Now we walk out here and head into the garage area. I think this is super pretty out here. You have this rock wall that leads up to my front door, my patio there, and then this beautiful stone arch that you drive your car under coming in here. I think that's really pretty as well. And here I have a laundry room. I just have a washer, so the whole time I've been living here, I've been just washing my clothes and then hanging them to dry, which I don't particularly like. I would love to get a dryer. This would be the maid's quarters here, the bedroom and the bathroom. However, I have it set up a little differently. This is where the magic happens. I can come in here and practice my golf and hit as many balls as I want into this net. So that's more or less the house, but it would be a shame to show you the house and not show you around inside the gated community because half of what I love about living here is actually outside of the house. So I'm gonna show you around there quickly and then we'll come back and I'll talk about the price of this place with you. So this is what the outside of my house looks like after you pull in through the security gate in this gated community. And so this is my garage right here, but literally right next to my garage is access to the golf course, which is really nice. So this access to the golf course literally goes under my living room and dining room area. So from this angle, you can see my home starts here and it's everything to the left of that. So this is the view of my home from the golf course side. It sits left of the green on hole number four at Hurikia Golf Club. So there's golfers out on the course right now, so I can't show you too much out here, but every evening after the golfers pass hole number four, I come out here with Laska and take her for a walk. She loves running all around on the golf course and it's just a really pleasant place to take her out with lots of shade, nice breeze, and of course, gorgeous views. I'll go show you the rest of the gated community here. So right here is my home and then I turn right over here and I'm right by the water. There's plenty of guest parking over here to the left. I take Laska out here all the time for walks because there's a really pretty walking path that goes all around the peninsula here, around the lake. And there's also super pretty walking paths that go up into the hills next to the clock tower here in this gated community as well. Literally just steps away from my home are about five different restaurants to choose from right here. They're all gorgeous. They overlook the lake and these massive homes and this gorgeous canyon across the way. So those are really nice places to go to as well. This neighborhood is located just a few minutes from grocery stores. It's only 10 minutes from the largest mall in all of Latin America, and that's Antea Mall. So that's super convenient as well. There's so much nearby, it's such a great location, but perhaps more important to me than any of that is the peacefulness you get out here. You don't have any of the loud noises of Mexico. I never wake up to fireworks and there's rarely parties that I hear or anything like that. Something else I really like about living here is there's a lot of nature and there's quite a few different animals that live here or at least stop by here. I told you about the raccoons earlier, but there's also squirrels and all sorts of different birds. At certain times of the year, pelicans come. The pelicans come here every single year as they're migrating somewhere. And then also at certain times of the year, there's hundreds upon hundreds of ducks out here as well. So that's pretty cool. But I love these walking paths. Uh, Alaska and I come out here just about every day walking around the peninsula on the lake. And then as you walk around the peninsula, you get to this nice park up here, just a little bit ahead of me. And there's a grilling area right here. There's 
a covered tent area right here where you can hold events so sometimes people will have birthday parties or something like that around here but it's just a really nice place to come take Alaska she loves running all around this grass and it's pretty cool to watch her have fun out here as well by the way, my favorite Spanish course, Rocket Languages, is running their Independence Day sale this weekend. It's an awesome value to begin with, but it's even better if you can pick up the course on this sale. It's going to be 60% off, but it's only for the first thousand courses sold. So head on over to tangerinespanish.com. That's my affiliate link, and it will take you right there. Again, this weekend only, first thousand courses sold, tangerinespanish.com. So much of Queretaro is a concrete jungle and it's just cement and buildings and roads and all sorts of stuff like that. But living here, you don't feel that at all. It's like you can be out there and be by the lake or you can be walking down this path here and feel like you're in the jungle. But there's so many cool walking paths around here. The cool paths aren't just around the lake, but you come up into the hills here and there's a lot of places to explore as well. A lot of the Americans and Canadians who move to Queretaro end up choosing Juriquilla as a place to live. So there's this misconception that it's like an expat enclave, but it's really not. Only a tiny percentage of the people who live here are expats. For example, in this gated community that I live in, there's 101 units and only one other unit is occupied by an American or a Canadian. So it's just me and them and I'm about to move out. So pretty soon it's just going to be them and the rest of the people who live here are Mexicans. But that's very much true about other parts of Juriquilla as well. Yes, there's some Americans and Canadians spread out here and there, but really they're only a tiny percentage of the population here in Juriquilla. As you can tell, I love living here. It is so amazing. I love the home. I love the community. I love how close it is located to so many things like grocery stores and malls and great restaurants and things like that. Also, my landlord is awesome. His handyman that he has to fix anything that goes wrong is great as well. And everything that goes wrong gets fixed really quickly. So that has been incredible this whole time. So since I love this house so much, why am I moving? And that's because there's nothing more important to me in my life right now than building a future with my. And we both agree that in order for us to build a future together the way we want it, we need to move on from this Hurikia home and into another place that doesn't have all the history attached to this home. Before I tell you how much I'm paying for rent, I want to give you a little comparison. I was recently in Las Vegas and I was talking to a local there and this person has a small studio apartment. It doesn't even have a single bedroom. And this apartment is in a not so great part of town, a part of town where you would not want to walk around in any time of the day, especially at night. And for this small apartment, he's paying $1,500 a month. And that doesn't even include the expensive electricity and the expensive internet bills that come along with renting in the US. So after that, the total rent cost is around $1,700. Whereas here, I have this huge home. I don't know the exact square footage, but I imagine it's at least 3,000 square feet. It has four bedrooms. It has five bathrooms. It's in one of my favorite neighborhoods in the entire city where I have no fear walking around any time of day or night or anything like that. It has amazing views from every side of the house. And the rent in US dollars fluctuates depending on what the exchange rate is. But over the course of the year, as I've been living here, it's average about $1,700. Oh, and included in the price of the rent is the HOA fee, or what here they call the mantenimiento fee, and that's 5,000 pesos a month. So really my rent is 30,000 pesos plus a 5,000 peso HOA fee. In addition to the price of the rent, I also have to pay for electric, gas, water, and internet. My electric bill is about $60 every two months, or about $30 a month. My gas bill is about $20 a month, and my water bill 
is usually a little over $30 a month, between $30 and $35 a month. And then my internet bill, paying for the fastest speeds I can get, 500 megabits per second, and it also includes the biggest, baddest Netflix package, and that is $50 a month. So my rent, plus all of my bills that come along with living here, total slightly more than $1,800 a month, or I can go rent a small studio apartment in Las Vegas in a bad part of town for $1,700 a month. I think I'll take this. If you like this video, click on this one next. It's another home tour I did here in the city of Hurikia. I think you're really going to like that place, so go check it out, and I'll see you on Saturday.